what? I was gonna, I was gonna start out with something racist. What are we doing tonight? <laughs> the same thing we do every single night. That's right. Party with not the live. <laughs> not live. Party with the world. That's right. This is our reviews. We'll kill you. The I'm party on a plane. The party time podcast that is coming to you live from a plane. Hopefully, it's not a Boeing Max Nine where the windows blow out. Or you something. mean Alaska Airs? Are you I'm traveling on, Alaska uh, Air? No, I'm on American. Oh, I heard Americans are no good. Because this is America. This is America. Guns in our area. Guns in our area. Hopefully not Lake Tahoe, though, where I'm going. There will be plenty of guns. And you will be offered up many wives. There was an avalanche that killed a, a skier, actually, a couple days ago. Uh, it sounds like I'm out of a contract with Noob Noob looking yeah. for a new host. This could be my last show, people. He could be dead by the time you, we get back. This could be a posthumanist. 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 How do you say that word? Posthumous. <laughs> Post Post titties. Po Post okay. the titties. All right. Well, I am the man you may know as he, and he is Noob Noob, soon to be formerly alive Noob Noob, so that we can have a brand new host. Let's be hot. Could be you, and we are monetized, but none of that money will go to you. It'll it will go to my memoriam. Yes. We need to pay for that funeral. We do. He, it, and the he, brisket. Does he, <laughs> the brisket to go with it. If I live, it's the brisket. If I die, it's the memorial. Uh huh. Will you stop shaking the cameras? Oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> Chiefs and crackers. <laughs> oh, my and gosh. Michael J. Fox in it. All right. So uh, either tell us what's on the show or tell me about your stupid bet. Oh, my God. Let's get to the You bet. totally so forgot about your bet. The betting. How did you? You literally were talking about your fucking betting. Fucking FanDuel is fake. I'm telling okay, you. Okay. First all, of all, FanDuel could be sponsoring us. So all FanDuel sports. Is, all sports betting. No, all sports is WWE, baby. So I get an email. They're like, oh, you have a free $5 bonus bet for a live game today. I'm like, whatever. Let's use it. It's free. Fucking Boston Celtics versus Milwaukee Bucks. Celtics are heavily favored. Mm -hmm. I'm like, let's throw the five on the, the Celtics. I go and check five minutes ago. They're losing by 40. What the fuck? <laughs> who, what the, the Celtics? Yeah. Did what? you even bother to look who was starting and who wasn't? I, no, I don't follow basketball. Okay. Was oh, it's within 20. I don't know. There's a chance with five minutes left. No, as they just went on a run and they're yeah, going to no, lose. No, they're going to lose. But yeah, so you lost your fake five dollars. Yeah, I could have won the five dollars and twenty three cents. Yeah, picked the wrong. T you know that the Bucks went to like the finale or whatever. No, I think they lost in the first round last year. Did they? I think so. And Antikupis. They have the Greek freak. I, I know that. But what's uh, his name? Antikuptus. Kuptus. Antikumakonis. Gupta. Gupta. So he's one of Echo's ancestors with his. He's not. Arabian name. I don't think so. He's Greek. Arabian She's Greek. Native American. Same thing. So what is on today's show? Oh, Jesus. What is it? Uh, and it's not sports gambling. It is hot. On the sports ball. Lesbian show on their tummy. Um, <laughs> You're an ab man. We have shirt ideas. Nope. It's, <laughs> below, it's below that. We still have not. Misogynistic stick figures giving a massage. Uh-huh. What was it called? What was this a shirt called, though? Wait, misogynistic stick figures giving a massage? Yeah, but there's a, there's a, supposed to be a sign on it. You're a misogynist. Okay. Why is that funny? <laughs> you just, do you not know how to spell misogynist and massage? Oh, okay. Deshaun you are a Watson. misogynist. You Deshaun Watson. Did uh, I come up with that? You thought of the Deshaun Watson part. I thought of the Deshaun. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. I love to show. You know how to give a massage, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Stupid. Shirt ideas. No. Nope. Forcibly everything. <laughs> yep. That is another shirt that you have. You would. These are all patent pending. <laughs> the only good horror movie is a slasher movie. Uh, that's a video idea or a shirt idea? It's probably a shirt idea. I can super scroll my way out of life's problems. <laughs> Are you autistic? What What is this? <laughs> They're shirt ideas. Samuel L. Jackson gifts bees. Oh, that's not a shirt idea. That's it, just a thing that happened. <laughs> he gives people... His wedding gift is bees. Okay. Uh, like, like, I mean, that's kind of a cool... If it were if it were Sam Jack as the like... The black bees, though, right? If it was Sam Jack as, uh, as uh, Nick Fury, and he's just like... Here's some bees. No, I want him to give me Jerry Seinfeld as a bee. Okay. From the bee movie. <laughs> From the bee movie. All right. I That's a lot Jew of copyright infringement right there. I want right Jewish there. bees. 
Oh, there was another story we could have covered. The Jewish, Jewish tunnels. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> like for Anne Frank? No. Okay. In uh, New York City. Giveaway. I don't think we're giving no. anything away. Oh, because you you don't have anything. There's really nothing coming out. It's weird. Like it's a it's a lull. Mm. Uh, wait. No. What about your girlfriend in Hamas? Yes. <laughs> Give my girlfriend's vegetable Hamas. <laughs> we'll see. we'll ship it to you in El Gaza strip. <laughs> does she have an El Gaza strip? She does. Coming next week, villains. Noob Noob Wednesday Dance. Yeah, you're going to do an every Wednesday dance. Don't you remember that? Is this just like... How no, you were going to do the dance from Wednesday, okay. remember? Okay, how long are these fucking notes here for? Just go to the news! <laughs> it's not... Why is this so hard for you? John Williams unretires. I don't know who that is. <laughs> really? Fuck is John Williams? Are you serious? He's an athlete. John Williams. John Williams Booth. Isn't that the guy that shot Lincoln? Yeah, he's unretiring. All right. <laughs> you don't know who John Williams is. Patrick Stewart calls John the dog John Williams. <laughs> Fuck. Patrick Stewart calls <laughs> Doctor Strange too. Frustrating. Yes, it's very uh, sexually frustrating. <laughs> Charlie Hunnam will do specific thrim. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I'm glad I'm making you laugh this hard. <laughs> Fuck, Charlie Hunnam <laughs> would do. Specific He'll do anything for specific rims jobs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Full time job driving Wiener Mobile. Yes, we have a job for you. Okay. If you survive the weekend, we will get you a job. Oh, it's a week and a half. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, uh, California to have drug testing kits for spike drinks. Ah, oh, sounds like you're gonna have a real hard time Shit, on vacation. Not taking my pocket lesbian there. Mm. Surprise Mando and Grogu movie. Wait, is that is that a separate? No, that's in the thing. Surprise Grogu and Mando movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Abby is cast. Yes. Oh, that's right, Abby. Hot Abby though. <laughs> yes. Abby. We'll talk about that. Abby. Abby is cast. They cast her. Finally. Adam Driver hates Star Wars. He sure does. Mainly because it's a representation of the Jews. It is what? <laughs> Isn't he Jewish? Adam Driver? He's driving a big nose. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh huh. They were getting outrageous oh. with uh, no more aliens in Miami. That sounds unreasonable. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> Plenty of aliens There's there. A, they're very illegal. There's a d <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were immigrants, but no, clearly. No, they're, they're illegal alien immigrants. Mm hmm. Migrants. I'm sorry. Did I say immigrants? I yeah. meant migrants. Mm hmm. Migrant in those camps. Um, an amateur treasure hunter falls to death. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that's sad. That's not outrageous. I it's guess. Sad. That's outrageously sad. You are sad. We're going in or out on a Netflix thing that has a hot main lead, but, and then an Asian Wong. A big Wong. A big Wong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three body problem. You have a three body problem. It's a weird name. I don't you know. see all these bodies the wrong way. That is a weird. No, I do not. You see them the wrong way. You weird 1940s fetishist. Uh huh. Uh, Noob Noob's most disappointing moment in his no, adult life. That, <laughs> Flavors of disappointment. Yeah, remember you you had your most disappointing moment in your life. There's been a lot. Which one was it? You got to go to reviews. <laughs> No, wait, which one was that? Remember you went to the Hershey factory? Oh, that fucking milkshake. <laughs> Jesus and Christ. You were supposed to do a video on it, but you never did. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, then review of pain hustlers. No, pain pushers. You you should put in pain pushers. All right. Is it really pain hustlers? <laughs> yeah, it's not pain pushers. <laughs> I don't know. I say, no, it's a movie no one's ever even heard of. Pain hustlers, yeah. Uh, and then Echo. <laughs> It's a, a really movie no up. one here heard of because she's deaf. Oh, Marvel going. Do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior Cthulhu? Do you have time to talk about it? Red Pill Suppository. Why are you still reading? Shorts. It is time to go. Taco Bell Giant Cheese Hit. Uh huh. Pokemon. He's giving away all our free ideas, huh? I guess. Okay. I think we're done. Are you ready for housekeeping? Uh, yeah, 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 I think so. Time to go to the house of the keeping. Oh, the oh, oh my gosh. How, who would clean your house? What kind of hotel? A condo. Your mom, oh, 
Yeah. Is there any condos cleaning your house? No, she refused. Oh, really? Yeah. You were like, pay, I will pay you? Yeah. No, I did not. I just told her to clean it. Oh. <laughs> she used to say, clean my house. Yep. What if her dad comes and beats you to death? Her dad's a bitch. Mm. I would throw like a math equation to him and mm. he'd be confused. Like seven plus three. And be like, fuck. Mm. I can cut grass though. I believe he will rip your arms off and beat you with them. He, if he could catch me. I think at this point, anyone can catch you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Get a little long in the tooth there. Uh, a little long in the gun. I am very limber. And whatever happened to those videos of you crashing down a mountain? Uh, I, I don't know how to get them off the Google Drive. Oh, my God. I have them, and I wasn't mm. crashing. I was fucking gliding. I thought you had a whole skit planned. I Well, I'm not in Lake Tahoe yet, am I? You had a whole skit plan before that. No, I didn't. Oh, really? That was after. I Yeah, I haven't been s snowboarding. So since. I literally have to create content for two whole weeks while you go. I'll post the YouTube content. Bandy. Uh, you won't, you're won't. you probably going to watch nothing. Yeah, what <laughs> am I going to watch? I can do a short of the fucking NFL playoffs. Why would you watch those? Because WWE playoffs. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Yeah, you can review each game. Sure. Houston Texans, rookie black quarterback, throws touchdowns. <laughs> what? Against the Browns, very white, very old. The white guy won. Boo. Oh, you're talking about Joe Flacco. Yeah, Joe Flacco. Saw him in the airport before he signed with the Browns, just saying. Right. Could have touched his hand. Why would Could have touched his that? penis. You, he could have took him in the bathroom. I could. He, I saw him in the bathroom, actually. Oh, my God. Did he you was washing his hands around? and we made eye contact. And I was like, wow, you're so tall, sir. Like, I want to reach around. He licked his lips and left. Uh-huh. Not at me. So we talk about Logan Paul, or is he Logan Fraud? Did we, we talked about this. We did. He ripped off Pokemon, and you weren't very sad about it. You were more scared than anything. I think I was because I of don't Logan Paul. Remember any of this? You don't remember it. I remember I said something about his Charizard on my balls. Yeah, I thought you said you were gonna go steal his Charizard card, which I said was fake anyway. I guess so. What if you found out that his entire life was fraudulent? Logan Paul? Yes, probably is. Well, you should watch that video if you want to find out more about how Logan Paul was stealing your money and mine. At least watch it twelve more times because we want to get it to one hundred. Sure. Just saying. And then we have uh, Jim Gaffigan. Who's a pedophile? No, he's not. He's not a pedophile. No, he's not. He said that that's why he doesn't really understand why he's in Hollywood. The Golden Globe sponsorees, though, they are. Well, do you not remember? Did you not hear the joke? Why is your elbow in my frame? Oh, is it? Yes. He said... Um, he goes, I'm just a, I'm a guy from an Iowa town, and I don't know how I ended up in, in uh, you know, Hollywood because I'm not a pedo. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't go over very well. They didn't laugh very I hard. Thought it was that funny. I thought it was, I didn't say it wasn't a funny joke. Uh, but then I guess all the Joe Coy fans came out, and they don't like this video. Because there's a lot of Joe Coy defenders, whoever that is. Because he's a... Pedo. He told really bad jokes. What was the Taylor Swift joke? I didn't hear that though. He's uh, the Taylor joke, uh, or the Taylor Swift joke was, uh, oh yeah, we just came off of a double header of uh, the NFL, and and you know the the one thing that the Gold Globes has going for it is has less cameras on Taylor Swift than the NFL does. Oh, yeah, and it's like a huh, yeah, funny. Dumb. You were my touchdown, that, my they, only play. They should have just played that song. Well, I love, I love, I love. Yes. And for those of you who don't know, that's a pop of meat uh, video about Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, and um, the thing that is called Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's hot. She is not a human being. She's kind of hot, though. Lizard person. A little hot. I'm surprised you would say that about someone like that. White? <laughs> uh huh. And then. Uh, why is Marvel? Why is Marvel? Do you see how Kingpin is trying to protect Echo from the ho hos? <laughs> Do you see that? Because she's fat. 
<laughs> How come no one got that when I put this up? No one seemed to get that. Or you could think it like she he's trying to protect her from the hose. It clearly says hostess ho hose. And she clearly balloons. Like they said at one point she like couldn't fit in her costume anymore. Really? <laughs> yeah. I thought her face did look a little pudge at some points, but I just thought I was paying attention on and off, and she was always that fat. No, uh, do you do you remember who's the girl from Mandalorian? The uh, Gina Carano. Yeah, you know, how, like G- Gina Carano, kind of like roller coasters her weight, like a little bit. Not really. Well, she does. <laughs> okay. Some when she's thin, she's she's looks very nice, but then she, okay, you know, puts a little, you know, when she's not in fighting shape, she she gets a little heavier. And uh, she was an X Men too, right? Or no, uh, Deadpool. Yes. Yeah, I thought she she looked all right in that, but yeah, she, she struggles with her with her weight a little bit. Nothing wrong with that, noob noob. You know who doesn't struggle with her weight? You. Pocket lesbian. Really? I'm not so sure about that. Uh, <laughs> just wait to see her in two months. Uh, anyway. So yeah, I talk about I watch the first two episodes and review it. And uh, I think we're going to do we're going to do a full review on the podcast, but we're not going to go into details because we are going to rip Echo a new one. Because you're going to hear a, you're going to hear the echo in the cavern of her anus. We're going to rip her so bad. We'll do a video about it. So. All right. That's it. Oh, my God. That's not that much. It's not that much. There wasn't a lot to talk about. What's next? It's time for the news. What's the news? Oh, my God. It's the news. Why isn't the Matrix behind us? Anyway, John oh, Williams. That old dude, I know what he means. I what know does he compose? Uh, Finding Nemo. I'm gonna say no to that. The Lion King. Not sure. Frozen. No, pretty something more. more Schindler's f- List. Maybe. He Not a hundred percent sure. He what. looks Jewish. Star Wars, dummy. Oh, is he's the Star Wars guy? Yes, he's the Jurassic. Oh, you're right about Schindler's List, you mother ever. Holy shit, was I? <laughs> that was, you're such. A, Why yeah. is that a thing? Harry Potter, because he's like the greatest composer of modern times. So what did he compose? Dying Jaws, Jews? Star Wars, Schindler's List, Jurassic Park, Harry Potter. You like Harry Potter? Yeah, I, I love Harry Potter. Saving Private Ryan. But Schindler's List doesn't Home seem Alone. like a movie that would be very on top of its composing. What he? There's music in it. Yeah, but like sad what did music. he compose? Like the gas for the chambers? No, sad music. What are you, dumb? Are you dumb? I get. Yeah, but there's like the. Uh, Sarah McLaughlin song. If you did want, did you ever music. watch Cinderella's List? Mm, no, no, I don't. Think you so. watch the Cape Informer. Watch it. Oh yeah, he does great doing that. Mm-hmm. Getting them free views. A lot of sympathy there. Yeah. So he's ninety-one, and he had retired, but now he's like, "Well, you want to give me that money?" If a film came along that I greatly was interested in. With a schedule that I could cope with, then I wouldn't want to rule out anything. So he's, he's in. He's no Hans Zimmer. Really? Yeah. Eh, what is Hans Zimmer composed? Man of Steel. Dark Knight. It's pretty good. Okay. Batman That's Begins. not Star Wars. Batman Begins. Man, Batman uh, vs. Superman. Batman vs. Superman. Did he do? No, he didn't do that. Junkie XL did that. No, Junkie XL did Justice League. I think he did Batman vs. Superman. No. Look it up. No. Fact check it. Nope. You love Junkie XO. Who the heck? I don't even know who that is. I don't know who that is either. I thought he was Daft Punk. <laughs> what about Patrick Stewart? How do you feel about him? He's in a wheelchair. He feels a little, not really, but he feels a little strange. That's for sure. Wait, he's not actually in a wheelchair? <laughs> no. God, this man's a good actor. He's Captain Picard, dude. Yeah, and he's in a wheelchair or he's sitting no, down. No, he's not. He's like... Go to the hyperdrive. Uh huh. Now. Go to the hyperdrive. Spock, wipe my ass. I can't stand up. Spock is not is not with Captain Picard. He's not? Nope. Shit. Uh huh. Nemesis, wipe my ass. I can't Nemesis. stand up. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Star Trek nope. anything? 
That black woman from Star Trek Beyond wiped my ass. Star Trek Beyond? Who is that? I can't stand up. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, he was in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, the 83-year-old actor, I would have told you he was 97, but whatever. He said, it was alone. I think the big, sc- the big scene... Each of the leading actors had the same experience. They were shot on their own. It was frustrating and disappointing. But that's how it has been. The last few years have been challenging. Did you ever see where Gandalf is in The Hobbit and he's crying? Yeah. Because he's alone. I think Patrick Stewart was also crying. Oh, my God. Because he was alone. Did you imagine filming alone in, like, a green screen and there's no one else there? (laughs) (laughs) Like, it sucks. What? This is why they call movie making soulless now. Is Is it not? All the green screen. I bet you the entire um, children, Killers of the Flower Moon was filmed on green screen. Why would that be filmed on green screen? Because Patrick, wait, Patrick Scorsese? What's Martin his, Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. Who's Pat, Patrick Scorsese? Nope. Not a human being. Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. He's dead. He would have been a better director than Martin Scorsese. Why? Okay. We we lost a legend because the cancer diagnosis or Patrick Scorsese, okay. no Patrick Swayze, <laughs> very dead. Uh huh. He was in Ghost and Roadhouse, which is a remake with uh, MMA and Jake Gyllenhaal. Will be a remake. Are you gonna watch that? Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Jake Gyllenhaal looking good. Uh huh. I mean, he is for like his forty something year old. Yeah, the TRT so, is working. All them supplements, baby. TRT is working. Where's your TRT? I'm not forty yet. Eh, Where's I yours? I thought you were sixty five. Where's yours? It's not working. I thought you were sixty five. With your weirdly hard round stomach. Uh huh. It's like a bowling ball. <laughs> uh huh. It's uncomfortable. Eh, not as uncomfortable as your swollen vagina. Oh, I take pride in that vagina. Uh huh. I mean, you did transition. I did. But just like Charlie Hunnam will transition. For anything Guillermo del Toro will do. To him. Or the movie. Or the movie. He'll do Pacific Rim Job 3. Those were underrated. Mo- the second one kind of sucks. Second one totally sucks. Uh, I think Guillermo did the second one, too. No, he? he did not. He did not. He did not. He had nothing to do with it. Okay, that's probably why it sucked. Yes, it is. With John Boyega, right? Uh oh yeah 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 okay where it yeah, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. had like that weird connection somehow that made no sense. What to he's supposed movie. to be Striker or uh, Pentecost, uh, whatever his name was. The kid, yeah, his Idris kid. Elba's kid. Yes, Idris yeah. Elba's kid. Yeah, the first one was much better. The first one's legendary. It's amazing. I don't know if it's legendary. What do you mean? It's a classic. It's good. I don't know if it's like. Although I rewatched Godzilla 2014, that movie's boring as shit after yeah. Brian Cranston. Yes, I that's what I've been saying for the past ten years. Like it's good, but damn, as soon as it, he dies, it is no longer a good movie. Uh, uh, I don't know about that, but uh, up until uh, only when it goes to Vegas or where? Not Vegas. Where is where, it? Whenever the monsters start San fighting, Francisco. the last ten minutes. It's it the gets, last ten minutes are fine, but that stretch where there's no there's like an hour of no Cranston or no Godzilla. It's terrible. Yeah, it's Cranston makes that movie. He does, and then he's just like, Egh. yeah, I forgot that they they you know s- kick ass is in it. They sh- yeah, he's the main star. Yeah, he's not very. They good. show him. No, he's not. He's not a good actor. Um, they show him die, and then he lives. To then uh-huh. die five minutes later. What? In the movie, Brian Cranston. I forgot about that. That he dies? Well, they show him, like, fall off, and he could have just died there, but they're like, oh. No, they he- need to stretch out his death to yeah. make it more dramatic because he's such a good actor. No, that was just stupid. Either way, uh, Pacific Rim is better. And Charlie Hunnam wants to do more. Well, can you take the Makomori test? It's better than the Bechtel test. What? Mako Mori is one of the stars of Pacific Rim. Macklemore, the singer. Mako Mori, the chick. The Asian girl. Yes, she has her own plot line in the show in the movie. Okay. And the Bechdel test is are two women talking to each other, not about guys. I feel like Barbie failed that test. Mm, yeah, it's all about guys. It's all about guys. Well, 
Speaking of guys, do you think a guy can handle this job, or can it be a transition noob noob? Rare and coveted job. Oscar Meyer seeks a full-time driver for the iconic Wienermobile. Where do you have to drive it? Everywhere. Do you get free wieners? Probably. Oh, my God. Oscar Meyer wants to hire a dozen hot doggers for year-long full-time jobs driving its iconic 27-foot-long hot dog on wheels. Does that mean there's, there's 12 of them? If you relish your chance, you can apply through January 31st. Do it now. And if you get the job, you are 100. If you listen to us and you get that job and you're not noob noob, you're coming directly to this house that we broke into. Absolutely. Apparently, there's only six of them. Uh, there will be the uh, you'll be part of the 37th class of hot doggers who drive the Wienermobile, which first hit the road in 1936. That math does not add up. <laughs> How do you have 37 classes? When they're, you've had it for, like, what, 90 years? Uh, yeah, that, that would be close. weird. 86 years? Maybe there was, like, one dude, as soon as he was 18, just drove that wing all around. <laughs> <And drove. laughs> they will dra- travel and maintain. Do you get to sleep in Walmart parking lots? Is that still a thing? I hope so. You have to travel an average of 20,000 miles, visiting more than 20 states and handing out more than 250 wiener whistles during the year. What's a wiener whistle? Is that just a whistle or is that an actual thing you can eat? I Hopefully it's something you blow on and suck. <laughs> you got to suck that. Oh, my gosh. They're introducing hot dog flavored frozen pops in New York City. Oh, fuck. No. Uh-huh. In recent years, the hot doggers ambassador like dudes have included traveling to Puerto Rico, overseeing 12 weddings in Las Vegas, and introducing the hot dog flavored wieners in New York, uh, frozen wieners, hot dog flavored frozen pops in New York City. It's a rare and coveted position. Will it? I think it's a once in a lifetime position. Look at these people. What a diverse group of hot doggers. You're very diverse. You might get that. What are the qualifications? Less than 1% of the applications are, are accepted. Wow. You're stati- it's statistically easier to earn admission to an Ivy League university than to become a hot dogger. Wow. That means you have no People chance. People want to ride that meat. You need a bachelor's degree. Holy to, cow. To drive it. How are you going to get? How could you possibly I figured apply? a CDL, but. <laughs> <laughs> a love of hot dog puns. It's a helpful condiment. Oh, the salary sucks. Wait, does it, what does it say? Thirty six, uh, $35,600. Weekly allowance of $152 or $7,200 per year for meals and personal travel. 18 days of paid time off. Full health benefits. And 100% of hotel coverage. I mean, if they're paying for all food and all... Store. I mean, that's all just bread that you're cu- you're packing. That's it. Uh, yeah, but still, only thirty six thousand dollars. Yeah, f- but you don't have to pay for room and board or food. Uh, all the hot dogs you can eat or insert into your anus. Ah, uh, still, I don't know. That's more than you make now. Is it though? Yeah, between taxes, yeah, and between the money hole that you think sucks I pay you. Taxes? Uh uh-huh. I'm Wesley Snipes, baby. <laughs> you mean you're, you're Scott? Wesley Snipes, baby. Uh huh. How are they gonna find out? Maybe I you'll follow go them under Noob Noob now. Oh, maybe you'll go to California. Yeah. And then, then you're in real trouble. Curbing sexual assault. New California law requires bars to have sp- drink spiking drug tests available. I have I have a radical new solution for this. Okay. Are you prepared for this? Sure. So a new California law is going into effect this summer. It will require bars to have a drink testing kit available to patrons who suspect something may have been put into their drinks. We have to prevent it. A lot of drunk driving before it happens. What does drunk driving have to do with drug testing? Those are two different things. (laughs) Uh, it feels good to get a bill across the finish line and have the governor sign it, but I'm only going to feel happy when we know we're making an impact on cutting down on SA. That's it. That's the measuring stick. So they're all, are they worried about drunk driving or SA? I'm confused. 
I'm not sure. There's no taste. There's no scent. There's no color to them. They're really tough to detect. Ask Bill Cosby. But very fortunately, they're very easy to test for. Just one drop of your drink on a test coaster, and you know immediately if your drink has been spiked. I mean, okay, that's cool. If they put it on a coaster and it doesn't cost like a fortune for the bars, I'm kind of okay with that, but I have a better solution. What's that? How about you don't take drinks from strangers? Mm. Can we just start that as like a common courtesy thing? Yeah, but if the you're, hose want free alcohol. Get a job. No, get a wiener job. That's not free, then. That's working for it. Okay, well, guess what? You got to work for that drink, baby. You don't. You got to work for that shaft. You got to work for that drink. No, you work for the shaft to then get the free drinks. So you give out free drinks? Depends on how much work's put in. Are you, do you pack that Spanish fly? Mm, no. What's your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your drug of choice? Pocket lesbian. Uh huh. Yeah. What do you slip people when you roofie them? Uh, Roofies? Just a rope. <laughs> a rope. To tie them down. Oh, you don't, you don't use drugs. During. Oh, okay. Makes it hotter. Boys and girls. Yes. <laughs> Obviously. So you have no opinion on this? I mean, I li- it's cool that it's on a coaster. But what if it was like five dollars a How coaster? How many people actually roofie people? That about? would be my thing. That seems like trying to prevent uh, one armed men from stealing your life. Yeah, like how how much roofing is going on? That's what I'd be curious about. I I'm sure there's a lot, but not enough. To, to make every single bar carry these things. Yeah. But that's California for you. That's true. Doing California that. is pretty dumb. Yes. They do like to force people to spend money that they don't. You would you would hate it there. I would. They would make you pay for everything. I am flying there tomorrow. <laughs> so you better watch out. In the gay Francisco. Uh-huh. Oh, I forgot you were taking that trip. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's another trip we could take to a galaxy far, far away. Long, long time ago. Surprise! There's a new Grogu and Mandu movie. They canceled season four out of nowhere. And they're like, nah, we're going to make a movie. It's going to be called Mandalorian and Grogu. Was season three already out? Yeah, that's the one with uh, Jack Black and Lizzo. Oh, okay. So there is no more. It's just a movie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. The aptly titled Mandalorian and Grogu. He's not Grogu. He's Baby Yoda. How is, how is Pedro Pascal even going to do that with Fantastic he's not. Four and uh, he's not Last of Us? not going well, to do it. I mean, it's going to be directed by John Farvo. Do you care about this at all? Uh, how much Baby Yoda's in it, and that's how much I care. Did you watch season three? Nope. So not enough for you to be interested. I mean, Baby Yoda is friends with Lizzo now, so how do you feel about that? Mm, she, tainted. she knighted him. Tainted. Yeah. So uh, I think that's this was all a diversion, and we didn't talk about this. Um, Disney Star Wars has some problems. Do you know who Leslie Headland is? Nope. If I told you that Star Wars has a new show coming out called The Acolyte, which is filmed around a diverse cast of characters, <laughs> but it follows the villains, right? Sure. Shockingly, because, you know, these people associate with the villains. What if I told you that Leslie Headland was the... um personal assistant to Harvey Weinstein. What? And then what if I told you that while allegedly, while she was the personal assistant to Harvey Weinstein, he got in touch with a man who owns an island Jeez. named Little St. James Island. Oh boy. Do you think that would be a real exciting thing to have someone direct a Star Wars series who's never directed anything other than a play before very exciting someone who said that they loved harvey weinstein yes i mean who what's not to love what is not is he still alive he is still alive in jail he's blind and diabetic but he's still blind yes he is fully blind i believe so you don't get good health care in prison wow unless people are just doing stuff to his eyes 
They they could be blasting him with the good stuff. Well, you know who? Else? It's funny. You know who else went blind in prison? OJ. <laughs> no, OJ didn't spend any enough time in prison. Okay. <laughs> How many? He only spent like eight years in prison. That's enough. Yeah, for killing your wife, allegedly. Yeah. I mean, he did write a book. If I did it, she deserved it. She kind of did. What? Uh, Bill Cosby went blind in jail. He actually he did though. Yes, they both went blind to jail. What's going Bill on? Bill Cosby jail? went blind in jail. Yes, and then he got his sight back. No, he went blind in jail. He still doesn't have his sight. Bill Cosby's not blind. Yes, he is. No, he's not. P- pull up, look it up. I guarantee you, Bill Cosby's blind. How do you know he's not blind? Because the women he picks. How does he put the roofies in? He's not blind. <laughs> Just Google Bill Cosby is blind. Dude, he's not blind. I- He's 100% blind. How do you not believe this? What is wrong with you? Bill Cosby. Blind. I'm telling you. Says he's now completely blind. <laughs> I told you. What he, what he said. He said he didn't kill his wife, too. So <laughs> He never killed his wife. He says he's completely blind. Bill Cosby is not OJ. They're not, they are two different human beings. Oh, oh shit. You stupid. You are so stupid. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Bill Cosby. Wow, I thought OJ Simpson. <laughs> thought they were the same person. I know you did. Well, they both looked the same. Uh-huh, they both played football. No, they're both black. <laughs> um Wow. Okay. Speaking of ter- so are you are you excited about the Grogo movie? I, no. yeah, I'll need to see a trailer. All right. Well, what about how do you feel about Abby from Last of Us? Now, this is going to be a weird story okay. because um, most people don't like normies have never played the game Last of Us. So they're not going to understand who Abby is. Okay. So then you're not you're probably not going to be bothered by the casting if you didn't. No, know. you're not going to care about the casting at all. If you didn't play the game. Will she get topless like they did in the video game, oh. which was super disturbing? Uh, I mean, she looked good in this picture, so I wouldn't mind. So Caitlin Dever from Dope Sick has joined HBO's breakout hit The Last of Us. She's one of three major cast additions. I heard there's like somebody else who was cast. Yeah, Ger- yeah Beef. Who's you remember beef? the Beef with uh, Steven Young? Yeah, 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 yeah. The younger brother? The bi- Yeah, he's like jacked. Is yeah, he a little he- guy, though? He's in. He's he got cast. Yeah, but he's is he not? He's not that. He's not that tall, is he? Uh, I think I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he he's looked. Not, he was really jacked. Yeah, he's not super tiny. Yeah, but is he gonna be like that twink kid? He's in the show as Jesse. He's like the the town person. You never played Last of Us two either, so I did. We freaking filmed me. You played the first it. fucking chapter. Uh huh. And, and then beat the we game. Gave up because yeah. it sucked. The game was great. Because you love being woke. So much representation. You feel you do enjoy bigot sandwiches. I do. So uh let's just say that uh I don't know. How do we not spoil this at all? Let's just say that Abby is a very controversial character. Very ca- controversial. Very controversial. And she's like she Hulk. But more angry. She a big girl. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense because isn't she like super scrawny in it twice? Mm. In the beginning, before she gets jacked, and then afterwards because she gets tapped. None of it makes sense. I mean, she, she's not scrawny when she gets tapped, but she uh, just, at the end of the game, yeah, she, just she is. loses. No, what are you talking about? I don't think she's that scrawny. Uh, yeah, she is. One hundred percent. I I watched the ending mm. of the game mm. because you couldn't beat it. I, it's I, too I, difficult. For I beat you. it. Eh, you beat it. No, I beat. Or I, you that was one I beat. Someone beat. I beat it. I just like a hundred percent in Spider Man Two. Uh, proof or it never happened. Why wouldn't you do a short on that to prove to people that you hunt? Did you platinum it or a hundred percent? No, hundred percent. Okay, so that means crazy. You just did nothing. 
Okay. Am I crazy here? Oh, my gosh. I wanted to show you the funniest thing ever. Oh, this is hilarious. I'll just tell you about it, and maybe we can react to it later. Neil Druckmann went to the Golden Globes. Okay. And he went by himself. Okay. And no one, you know how you stand in front of the red carpet and, and take pictures? I sent you the video. Did you? You didn't watch it. Nope. You, you were, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to share with you anymore. <laughs> just going to send you funny things. So what, he just. He stand, you know how they're like, they take lots of pictures, and they shout at you, they're like, Neil, Neil, over here, over here. Like, they, you know what I mean? You've yeah. seen a red carpet with a hot yes. chick, right? He stands in front of the marquee of the Golden Globes, and not one picture take, not one person takes a picture of him. Oh my god! Nobody knew who he was, and nobody even like. It was a. I sent you a memeology, and you ignored it. You totally didn't do that. I one hundred percent did. When I shared it with you like several days ago, when the Golden Globes happened. Nope. So he stands there, and nobody takes a picture, and there's these girls in the background talking. And they're like, "Oh my god, how embarrassing." <laughs> it's it's pretty funny. Yeah. I, Neil yeah. Druckmann is the uh, director of The Last of Us video game and uh, like an executive producer who also wrote and directed some of The Last of Us, the show, which is not that good. Doesn't deserve any Emmys or anything. It was just okay. It was pretty good. But this girl's way too hot. Dur okay, and here's my last point on this is they're going to have to make her... They're going to have to do what they did in Black Widow, where they take a woman's head and CGI it onto a man's body, because that's the only way this works. Or she's just not going to be jacked in this. That doesn't make any sense. She's just a skilled fighter. That Then you're talking about Echo, baby. Yes. And Echo is... Strong women. She can beat... Not only can she beat Wilson Fisk twice, but she can also beat Daredevil, because she's so strong women. That was such a dumb scene. Yeah, yeah, you're telling me. So, are you? Ex I, I, I'm excited. This girl is better looking than the Downsy looking lead girl. Yes, obviously, yes. Yeah. So, what? What are they doing? It's hiring someone who's attractive for the show. I'm very. They'll confused. fuck her up. You think? So? Can they fuck her up enough? Ooh. Yeah, no. I think so. Uh -huh. I think they'll fuck her up. Can they fuck up Adam Driver any more than he already is? Mm. With his high waisted pants, yeah, and his weird shirtless body. I forget. Are we on our just yet? No. Jesus. Talking about Adam Driver. I know it's sleepy time for Noob Noob. I know. You're very sleepy. Jesus is ten fifteen. It's only like forty minutes into the show. Uh -huh. You spent too much time talking about betting. I know. And talking about st stupid other things. I regret this. Yes. Adam Driver made Star Wars set more exhausting than it should have been. I'm not doing any more films in the franchise. Wow. So, and, and they're probably asking him this because they're saying, have you been invited to go do the Ray movie? And apparently leaks from the Ray movie, which is being roundly mocked because the director has never directed a real movie before, only directed... Um, She's an activist who directed documentaries. Uh, the Ray movie is supposed to have her pregnant with a Ray Lo baby. What? Yes. I'm Doesn't that sound amazing? What do you mean? He's dead. He knocked her up with his force magic, <laughs> and she's Mary Mother Joseph. He force sexed her up. Yes. He said, they're doing stuff, but not with me. <laughs> I'm not doing any more. He sounds like when John Boyega was like, you're not Disney Plus and me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you want to see the Ray movie, don't you? Strong whammon. I mean, was it yellow lightsaber she has? Yes. I'm in. Yeah, you like yellow? Yeah. You're super excited about that. Like the dragon. What dragon? Which is Asian. What? And there's talk of lesbians in Asia. Oh, my God. That's an outrage. Oh, outrageous. I'm tired. Uh, you're clearly uh, drank too much too fast. No, I'm just tired. It's past my bedtime. She didn't do anything. Literally Past didn't. my bedtime. What are we outrageous about? Miami. Did you hear about aliens storming a Miami mall? There's a lot of them. No, these were 10-foot-tall aliens and that started burritos. a fist fight. 
So 10-foot shadow alien spotted outside of a, a mall in Miami on January 8th. Yeah, I'd be scared. There's there's a lot of... It, it spread across Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, but the rumors are false. According to the Miami Police Department, which I don't necessarily believe that, <clears throat> there's a now video of a viral 8 to 10-foot aliens walking around Bayside. It's actually just a person walking with a shadow. That doesn't make any sense. They're like, no, <laughs> that video is fake. It's just a shadow. It mm-hmm. looks pretty real. These aliens right here? Yeah. Those little guys? Yeah. It's very, yeah, very real. Officers were responding to a riot incited by a group of roughly 50 teenagers. Teenagers who were setting off fireworks at people and looting stores. That sounds like fake news. Authorities called a citywide emergency to which every officer responded. That's why you saw so much police presidents to call for that call. So you're going to call every police officer in the city of Miami for a bunch of teenagers setting off fireworks? Every police officer. I guess so. Or are you going to call them in because they were aliens? Both. Did you? Oh, oh, baby. Would you have an underage relationship with her? 26-year-old teacher. Hello. Hello. Where's she from, Florida? Hello. Yes. Is she? No, Missouri. Hello. She's into some weird. She would definitely let you do butt stuff. I mean, if you're into that, you weirdo. Pocket butt stuff. Pocket butt. Uh huh. Oh my God. Could you imagine? Oh, that would be so many dingleberries. (laughs) Just full of dingleberries. Yeah. (laughs) Oh my God. So, do you not believe there's any aliens in Miami? Like the Soviet Union going through a minefield. (laughs) Yeah, but you like. The Germans would just keep fighting. I would, yeah, I'll win that war. <laughs> fighting through the dingleberries. I will win that war. Through that dark, damp forest. <laughs> I'll clean them all up with my I tongue. I just swallow. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. What about them hairballs? And then spit them out like like little bombs, like uh, bomb on. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> like Yoshi. Uh, and then you might fall down a hole, 130 feet to your death. Yes. Which could happen this weekend. You could fall 130 feet to your death. Uh, yes, it could. Amateur treasure hunter plunges 130 feet to his death in a hole he dug inside his home. Why do I feel like the Simpsons did this? Oh, my gosh. Is that the hole right there? Wait, he accidentally fell into his own hole? Yeah, he fell into his own hole. Stupid fuck. His own booty hole. Yayo Pimenta da Silva became obsessed with digging the ultimately deadly hole. You see it, a prophetic dream. I feel like this happens every couple of years. A man died after falling down a 130 foot hole. He dug under his kitchen floor after dreaming there was gold buried under his property in Minas Gerais, Brazil. He was 71. He lost his balance Thursday afternoon and plunged down a massive pit he excavated, which ended up being as tall as a 12-story building. Neighbors told the local media following a prophetic dream that he had, he became obsessed with the idea that there was gold under them hills. She tried to advise a woman, one of his neighbors, tried to advise him against digging a dangerously deep hole. Don't dig that deep booty hole, baby. Okay. Don't dig that deep in the booty hole because guess what comes out of it? Poop. Extraordinary photos of the hole was 35 inches in diameter. That's a big hole. That is pretty big. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? How do you fall down? What do you mean? He's an elderly man. You're a klutz. You would fall right down it. Now, you might get stuck because 33 circumference. Mm. But, you know, your gun and, and that big booty. Mate. Hey, that's why I got it. You packing that junk in your trunk? Save, save me from my endlessly big holes. That's It'll save you. So how did he dig down that hole at 71? Very ambitious. Yeah. So that's an outrage. But uh, first. We're going to go in. We got to get in. We got to get out of oh, that booty that hole. Body count. Of that, whose body count? 
You, you, you want to talk about your body count? Oh, wait, there's three body people. Three body people. Three body problem. Yeah. Netflix trailers unveils interstellar murder mystery from the Game of Thrones creator. I'm in. Creators, not the creators of Game of Thrones. That's George R.R. Martin. This is Benioff and Weiss finally get their deal done. These dudes are making the rounds because they're promoting the show and they're trying to tell people like, we didn't lose Star Wars. They were given a trilogy, by the way. Kathleen Kennedy didn't like it, and now Jan James Mangold's going to make their, their movie, which is also not going to get made. Their movie was going to be called The First Jedi. And then um, James Mangold was going to make the exact same movie called Dawn of the Jedi, which sounds terrible. So many Jedis. But this is about bodies. The three-body problem, well... Aliens are apparently murdering people because they're scared that our smart people might find out. David Benehoff, D.B. Weiss, and Alexander Woo! The series is based on a 2008 mo novel, The Three Body Problem, by Liu Shikshin. The trio also serves as executive producers and writers. They previously collaborated on the Game of Thrones, while Woo is an alum of True Blood. Is he? Here's the, the log line is a young woman's fateful decision in 1960 China. China reverbs across space and time into the present day when the laws of nature inexplicably unravel before their eyes. A close knit group of brilliant scientists join forces with an unorthodox detective to confront the galaxy's threat. The, oh, the greatest threat in humanity's history. I don't recognize any of these people. I did not either. Isn't Aiza Gonzalez? You like her, don't you? She's kind of attractive, yeah. What about C. Shimuka? Don't know who that is. Zain Singh? Nope. No. Benedict Wong? Mmm. Get a little Wong action. Uh huh. I'll play with his Wong. Well, are you in or out? Uh, I'll give it a shot. I'm like, I'm so I'm half in. Just the tip. <laughs> just the tip. I'm just the tip. Ah. Uh, I'm the same. I will give it a shot. We'll see what happens, and uh, who knows? Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad, but it's on Netflix, so it's kind of a 50-50 coin flip. So we'll see. How about we move on? To the reviews. Reviews. Oh, reviews. We're going to review uh, Pain Punishers. Pain, pain Hustlers. hustlers pain. Is it Pain Hustlers? It is. What did I call it? Pain. Pain pushers. <laughs> Pain pu Whatever. Emily Blunt, Chris Evans, and Andy Garcia do a movie that no one ever even heard of or cared about. It's all right. Where did you see Netflix. this? Netflix. Really? It was a top tenor for a while. 23% uh, by the critics, 66% by the audience. Critic consensus says... Pain Hustlers has some great actors and a worthwhile premise, but the lackluster execution dooms this dramatic look at the opioid epidemic. I mean, I, I guess it's it's pretty straightforward. It's a it's a rags to riches story. You got a stripper who is down on her luck and needs money for her half black daughter that has. Does aneurysms. Emily Blunt strip in this? No, but she's in like a weird stripper outfit in the beginning that doesn't show anything. Well, that's very dis uh, disappointing. She's also like 40 something. Does she speak in an American accent? She or does. A British accent. No, she's she's American. Does she talk like, hey, y'all, I'm a stripper? No, I'm just like normal American. Well, that's also not that interesting. Yeah. Keep going. And then Chris Evans is in it and he's like, I don't, his gay. accent. I Super think it's gay. supposed to be a Boston accent, and then he just gives up like wow. half, half the time. He's not a very good actor, is he? Uh, He's good at being Captain America. And that's about it. He was okay as Johnny Storm. Yeah. I kind of like the movie where he was like uh, telekinetic and like the bullets with the D Dakota fanning. Or so whatever. basically, it needs to be super powered. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm number four. Different movie. No. Push. Push. It's called Push. I am number four. So. They were supposed to be in I am number five and I am number six, and they no, those are, I like I actually like that movie. It was supposed to be a YA trilogy, and it just and got it canceled. Failed, yeah. yeah. Um. So it's it's just like about uh fucking selling opioids and being a drug rep, and it's 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 all right. Like it's worth. I wouldn't say it's worth watching, but 
Um, not worth watching. <laughs> it's a little weird, the trajectory of, of the movie. And, you know, I don't know how much money you can make being a drug rep, but if this movie's accurate, sign me up, daddy. Emily Blunt is so emotionally present that this she oh, that she almost redeems this movie. She doesn't. But at least she makes the first half of Payton Hustlers watchable. It, it was like an average movie. Like it was 50%. 50 to 60. Yeah. Honestly, this movie plays like the movie all the actors made but decided to remove all references to it because they were so ashamed by the results. Aaron News... New Worth, We Live Media. Wait, We Live Entertainment. How are any of these people? These people get less views than us. Are you kidding me? What a joke. All right. So we can move on. Sure. Because we're going to trash Echo all on our own. Yes, Uh-oh, we are. Uh-oh, I looked up Echo, and I'm not getting the right one. God. Marvel's Echo. Dang it. No, I just have to click on the one that comes up when it says 2024. Echo. Echo, get out of this! Is fake news? No, this is also another fifty percenter. Ah, it's got. I would say like thirty six percenter at best. Seventy three percent on the tomato meter with the critics. Uh oh, audience score. It's oh, there's a fake audience score. It won't tell us. It won't tell us. Top critics give it a sixty seven percent. All critics give it seventy three percent. Marvel has bought the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes just to make you not feel comfortable with yourself, and they still can't do enough. They made it fresh, and it ain't it's anything but fresh. Maya Lopez's ruthless behavior in New York City catches up with her in her hometown. She must face her past, reconnect with her Native American roots, and embrace <laughs> the meaning of family and community. None of those things are true. None of it. Yeah. Alqua Cox. Do you want to know what she starred in before? Deaf people. Absolutely nothing. She was Echo in uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. And that's it. And she was on <laughs> The Tonight Show starring Jim and F- Jimmy Fallon as a guest and got a 47% review. Is she you. actually deaf? Yes. Okay. And she's also an amputee. Oh, so she's just... Checks off every box possible. Yeah. I just feel bad because, like... She's a deaf amputee? How do you find that? You and Native American. That's impressive. That They were, like, holding auditions for... uh, Limited to deaf amputees, Native American. Couldn't they have hired the girl from Prey, who is much more attractive? Was she an amputee? And an actual actress? No, they'd have to CGI. First of all... She even says, like, you don't, uh, you can't tell when she puts her, like, her, her pants on. She wears pants, and you can't tell that she's an amputee. Yeah. Until they, they make sure they show it off yep. all the time. Yep. Which I think is disrespectful to her because in her real life, she probably doesn't try to show it off all the time. I would imagine so. I'm sure she's just like, hey, I'm normal. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Like, it's not a big deal. Right? Yeah. I, I don't understand. Literally every other scene, they're like, look, she's an amputee. Did you know that when they were, f- they couldn't film close ups, they could only film like quarter ups because every single person had to be able to sign. And when they sign, they're, um, you had to be able to see them signing like from their chest. So you could have a close up on any character because that's what the director said. They're like, if we can't have, Alqua Cox have a close up, then no one can have a close up because they're so diverse <laughs> and strong women. Yes, she is the strongest one. They also changed her powers from the comic book. They also changed her tribe from the comic book because it wasn't American Native Indian enough. Wait, she's not Choctaw? No, she's Blackfeet, which I think is also disrespectful. So that's what my review is about, is how disrespectful they did the the comic book character. They also said her powers were lame. So they gave her new powers of ambiguous. She had no definitive powers. They were just strong whammon powers. This is an embarrassment. Um, Critic consensus, Alqua Cox makes Echo's first season, as if it's going to get a second one, consistently worth watching. While hard-hitting action and fresh narrative elements suggest strong potential for this slow-building series, 
first of all, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be 12 episodes, and then they cut it down to eight episodes, which was two, which they said was terrible. So then they cut it down to eight, or, or from eight to six, and it was so bad at six, they cut it down to five. And then at five, it's basically Could've two episodes. Yeah, but two episodes, you could easily, it's like previously on Hawkeye, right? Previously with the brown people in the 1200s. What? Oh, yeah. my God. How the embarrassing. The first five minutes of each of the series is just fucking flashbacks to whatever weird shit they're doing. Yeah, like they're, okay, first of all, I, it's historically inaccurate to say that the, um, the Native Americans would settle land disputes in a sporting event. They would kill each other like normal human beings did. Just like the conquistadors, just like everybody else, every Indian tribe warred with every other Indian tribe, Ooh. and they would kill each other and not play lacrosse. No. That's not how you win. Do we do that today? Do we give up land? Does If Pittsburgh takes on the Cowboys, does does Dallas lose that property when they, when they battle each Absolutely. other in football? Yes. They do not. But, I mean, you may think that since you live in neither of those. I do. Uh huh. I just I thought the whole and you can't blame the actors. The actors were fine. I just it doesn't. I, I, it's just so. These were hack writers writing a terrible show. Sixty nine percent's a lie. It, it was not good. Should have been fifty. Yes. At best. At, at, at best, it would be fifty. So Echo, we do not recommend it. We torture ourselves so that you don't have to watch these type of things. We also watch Rebel Moon, something you shouldn't watch, and we watch to torture ourselves. So if there's something you'd like us to torture ourselves with, you let us know, and we will most likely watch it. So keep that in mind as uh, we do what we do. Anything you'd like to add? Sleepy times. Oh, my God. You're such a big Sleepy baby. times. It's so hard. So hard. Uh-huh. So anyway, you know where to catch us. Uh, if you want to email us or you want to join the show, there is an opening for a host because this guy is asleep or on drugs or dead. Your choice. You let us know what you'd like to see here. You could join us. You could super chat us. All those things and more. But as for us, we love all you. Thank you for being out there in the chat. Hopefully we talked to you because we pre-recorded this, but we still love you. And uh, do you have any apologies to make? No? no but apologies. I'm sorry to the... Everybody you offended. Black people? Uh, Brown none, people. Of the, none of the chat? Brown people? Nobody in the chat. The Jews? You don't want to apologize? Who am I apologizing All to right, in the chat? Don't worry about it then. Doc? All right. We are all Is he indigenous? To the next one. Oh, <laughs>